At the time you reviewed it, did you know that there was significant exculpatory material that was omitted from it? Absolutely not. At the time you reviewed it, did you know that a lawyer on your staff had fraudulently altered material as a basis for a FISA application? That lawyer was not on my staff, but I was not aware of it. It was on the FBI staff? Correct. And the FBI reports to the Deputy Attorney General? Correct. At the time that you reviewed it, did you know the Steele dossier was paid, by the DNC, paid for by the DNC? I don't believe so. Did you ask any of those questions? Well, I... The questions I would have asked Senator would have been, is the information represented to me verified? And I would anticipate, Senator, that if uh, somebody knew that it wasn't or that there was some issue about the credibility of the informant or the accuracy of the evidence that... Mr. Mr. Rosenstein, when you're going into a, a department that has been politicized, I understand it's easier just not to rock the boat, not to question the people there. But you were the acting attorney general of the United States and had a responsibility not to allow political targeting. Uh, let me ask you, did it strike you as strange? And my time has expired, so I'm going to leave this as the last question. Did it strike you as strange that the FBI and the Department of Justice was going after a three-star general, the incoming national security advisor to the president, who they already said they were going to dismiss the case against, and their predicate for all of this was, is the Logan Act, which you know perfectly well is an unconstitutional law that has never been, no one has ever been prosecuted under in the history of the Department of Justice and should have been laughed out of the room in any responsible Department of Justice if someone had suggested we're going to go after the incoming national security advisor for violating the Logan Act, which says an American citizen can't talk to a foreign leader, I guarantee you today, right now, John Kerry is violating the Logan Act.